Hello and welcome to 7F5R live on Instagram. This is the 47th episode of this series. It is the 17th of August 2022, currently 2.45pm on a very sunny Wednesday afternoon here in Singapore. Thank you so much for joining us, whether you're watching this live or as a recording. My name is Stephanie Jennifer, I am a CZT21 and I'll be your host for this session. In just a bit, I'll be joined by my co-hosts, Debbie 18 and Susan Yo, CZT Asia 2. We're so happy to have you here today. Hello. Hi, Debbie. Can you hear the noise here? <laughs> Can you hear, yes. <laughs> oh, dear. So I see all of you coming in uh, on our live session. Thank you so much for being here. We love interacting with you uh, in the sessions. So if you want to leave us a comment, ask us any questions, you can do that. And if you're watching this as a recording, we also uh, read our comment section both on Instagram and on YouTube. So if you would like us to uh, answer a question in the future, you can always leave us a comment underneath the recording of this video. So a uh, recording of today's session will be made available on 7F5R Studios Instagram profile at 7F5R's 5 Rivers and also on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash c slash 7F5R Studio. You can find us on Instagram. Debbie is at tangled.pursuits. Susan is at susanyo.czt and I am at halfpen underscore will draw. In these uh, Wednesday live sessions, we feature Tangle prompts from the 7F5R Challenge on group on Facebook. So you can search 7F5R Challenge in your Facebook search bar or go to this link to find a group and join it. It's free. Lots of fun. You can see a lot of beautiful artworks uh, that other people have created within the group. And then maybe you'll, you'll like to tangle along with us as well. Yeah. So uh, please feel free to gather up some materials for today's session. You can work on any kind of tiles, tangle along with us, or go on your own little artistic journey. Yeah. Susan, what, uh, what materials are you using today? Okay, I prepared a a square tile, white color, mm -hmm. and also a Renaissance cheesy tile. Yeah. Okay. Without any colors, then a brown micron and a black micron. I also stand by my watercolor in case I want to add some color on it. Yeah. All right, that's great. What about you, Debbie? What are you working on? Well, I was working on a translucent tile. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So I started it last night. And uh, just trying things out. Well, it's a new medium. Quite exciting. Yes. Yeah, so, um, yeah, just putting it aside. I have um, a Saunders Waterford sample. Um, so Ooh. this is uh, 300 GSM high white, 100% cotton. And, of course, they, they actually tell you what it is. So, gelatin surface size. Okay, good to know. Yeah, so <laughs> I've uh, brought out my magicals and then I've got another piece. This is Strathmore 500 series, hot press. Mm, so both nice. are hot press. We love Strathmore. Uh, I'm working on a 7F5R tile tinted with Lindy's Gang magicals. This is an interesting colour combination. I think this is Otter Maple Crimson with... Um, the green, the teal actually is not green, the teal in the, the uh, summer break set. And the blue, I think there's a bit of blue in as well. Yeah, it's a very fun, interesting co uh, color choice for today. Uh, Susan, would you like to share with us today's string? Okay, so today's string is actually from the uh, Fortnite challenge. Mm -hmm. okay. Like what Steph mentioned about is a uh, water drop with a color. Yeah, so what you can do is actually um, at the bottom, you just estimate there's a center point, then draw a water drop. I think it's a upside down. Okay. Can hear Isaac okay. singing. Then, yeah, he's just beside me, so I need to remind him be quiet. 
<laughs> okay, then a color is up to that. Uh, how you want to make the color as? I also can't remember my original design of the color, but it's the the main point is that so from the center here, we extend. <laughs> Mm, um, 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 yeah. um, 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 um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the purpose of all these strings in the fortnightly challenge is that uh, we have a meeting point on the center here so that when we do the when we do the mosaic, maybe it can, can fit it well. Yeah, mm. okay, I think I better make myself. <laughs> it's ambient sound. Ambience. Um, sound, yes. <laughs> Um. Actually, didn't um, we have like a tulip string? Yes, we did. So, so then to, this is a tulip number two string. Yeah, so I had to think of ways to, to like differentiate it. Because maybe, as you know, 7 and 5 challenge, like, there's no like timeline for when you complete a challenge. Like, even if you like dig up last year's <laughs> prompt, technically you could, you could, you know. We're not, we're not too strict on that. We're very flexible on that, right? So I had to like differentiate between the two types of strings. So in my case, a water droplet with a collar. <laughs> yeah, and, and I'm wondering, right, is, is, is it uh, kind of difficult for us to sort of like monitor the group? Because if I, technically, I can post whatever I like. Right? Because I can say that, you know, oh, this was a prompt from three years ago. Wow. <laughs> so it's still relevant. Or... You're very hardworking. I mean, it's not happened. You Most people like look at like the newest prompt. <laughs> So so our Facebook group, right? Uh we actually have a rule in the Facebook group that people uh seem to forget. Um one of the rules is that you know everything must be related to our challenge. So because we have different different kinds of challenges, there are a lot of uh different challenges already inside the group. So we try to keep it relevant by having only the challenges, but people from time to time seem to forget, uh and they post all kinds of other things, you see. So I was mm. just making a joke that you know. I, I didn't post all kinds of other things. You 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 wrote this prompt yeah, in twenty fifteen. Yeah, this is last last time. I mean, if they if they specify it is and then I check and it really is okay, like, heads off to you, like, you're very hardworking. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't go and try and pull a fast one like oh no, it's from three what? years ago, then I, it's okay, I go and what? check and then it's not It's okay what? No mistakes. feelings. Yo <laughs> Oh sorry I see wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, because in 7 5 our challenge, we were very flexible, like no restrictions on tau size or shape or color. We accept color, uh, you know, we even accept like if let's say um, the prompt is a string, then you were to draw the silhouette of a cat. Like some groups will say like, oh, it's representational, so they don't want to accept it. But we are like very flexible. So our only request is that it has to be one of the challenge. Like, and we rotate between different tangles, different strings, different colors. So it's not difficult to incorporate at least one of the things into your tile. Right? So that's all we ask. Yeah, so <laughs> recently there was a very nice piece of art in our group. Uh, but it was not a challenge piece, you know. Like I don't know where it came from, uh, what prompts the lady, the person was following. And then uh, when I wrote to her, right, she ignored me. Oh, <laughs> Very yeah. nice. The joys of being an admin, right? <laughs> but we're grateful uh, for every single one of them, for every nonsense person. Ayah, don't is... ignore me la, so bad. Maybe she don't know to say she paise, then she, she embarrasses, she's like, oh, let's just leave yeah, it you, there. You can be embarrassed without ignoring me, right? <laughs> what did I do she to you? She awkward. <laughs> anyway, so this week's uh, Tea and Tango prompt, um, I hosted the challenge for this week. It's uh, Lola, one of my uh, older tangles. Not the oldest, but it's an older tangle. It's not that old, it's only four years old. It's quite old already. Eh? No la. My entire... No la. maybe the prompt is, maybe seven... the prom is like 2015 prom. Eh? Okay, okay, go for you. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so anyway, Lola, in, in my original step out, uh, it features, it's drawn on a leaf shape. And you can see I've drawn the pencil line. And then of course, some people might say like, oh, you can't use pencil guidelines in uh, Zen Tangle Tangles, right? But this is just a way to make it easier for yourself, right? But if you want well, to if it helps it, you, right? 
Mm. Who 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 can judge, right? Correct. Right. So I say whatever, yeah. do whatever is easiest for you, lah. But with Lola, you can actually fit it in other shapes like squares, uh, triangles, heart shapes. You know. So let me just show you how to draw the original one. Or if like let's say your tile has an awkward uh, segment, you can actually fit Lola into it. If you watch our National Day free class. It's actually pinned on 7F55 Studios Instagram profile. If you watch that video, uh, Lola is also featured. So that's another fun thing that you can try. Lola wasn't featured or was featured? Was featured. Was oh. featured. Yeah, yeah, it was. Am I, am I misspeaking? <laughs> no, no, I heard, I heard it wasn't featured. <laughs> so if you want to fit Lola into another shape, basically you just have to draw the initial leaf shape. Uh, in the a corner of the shape or anywhere it's fine actually and then you just follow the little so for in this scenario it's a square so I'll just follow my little box then draw the little flux shape so flux is an upside down water drop shape right that's flux so it's kind of a base of a flux right yeah, so that's Lola. Lots of fun. Have fun with it. They play around with different shapes. Triangles, even a wobbly shape also could be used. How are you using today, Steph? Oh yes, I forgot to. Oh no, I did. I did share. I'm using seven and five bar times. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. The the magical purple. We yeah, are purplish blue. Well, I'm trying something different this time. Usually, I don't uh do my background first. Uh, uh -huh. or I don't do my background live. Ah, yes, fair enough. Maybe I have the wrong brush. Hmm. Well, doing something different. Yeah, then because I have to thin first, right? So I prepared two pieces because I don't think it will dry in time. Alright, so for those just joining us, string is a water drop with a collar and then the tangle is Lola. Have fun with it. Why does your water drop have a collar? This fancy water drop is going to a fancy party. It's going to a water. It's going to be a water. What do you call it? You know those um <laughs> pool party. Yeah, pool, pool party. party. Mm. No, it's going to a, a black tie event. Pool party still still too casual. Really. It's just black tie event. Oh, I don't like this purple. I don't I think like it's too thick. Yeah, it's too thick. So what have you been up to, Steph? What have I been up to? Answering all inquiries by email. I think because the fact that um the team was sick in July, we've been slightly delayed in getting parcels. Well out. not that bad. It's not that bad, but Yeah, it's for, not that bad. I think for a lot of people who attended the previous yeah, the previous um if CCTA events, they, they sort of know our timeline. Right? They're like, Why But it could have time? been a lot worse, you know? Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> we're not doing that, that but most people have been understanding when I reply and say like yeah it's because we've been sick so 
we've not been able yeah. to send out. Then they'd be like, oh, we're so sorry to hear that. You know, it's not that they're like purposely like, so where's my where's kid? My kid? <laughs> <laughs> it's not like that. It's more of just concern. Like, did I miss an email or something? You know, like, is, is, is my parcel being held up somewhere? Yeah, because usually we're a lot more on the ball than this. La. Yeah. Uh, so it's, so... Not, it's not, it's not um, malicious question. It's more of like trying to find out what's up, right? I hope. Maybe it's malicious, eh? What if not reply and been like, who asked you all to get sick? <laughs> they won't there, right? We just don't send the box, lah. Who asked you all to get sick? <laughs> Where's my box? I want my box. I'm kidding. We, we always send, yeah. We always send. In fact, we always send like extra. If, if they lose the box, we send extra, you know. Mm-hmm. If they Even lose items. something inside the box, mm-hmm. also we send extra. Um, yeah. We just to, got to, out of to, one to be DHL. Fair, to, to be fair, even Debbie hasn't received her box. It's still here at the studio. Uh, <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so, it's not too bad, you know. Well, we just got out of one of the DHL threads today where we are hoping they haven't lost the box. In this, in yeah. This. So, bear with us. Bear with DHL. We... <laughs> no, but yeah. DHL has been fine. It's the customs This year is officers. not so bad. Yeah, this year is not yeah. so bad. I think the first year was the worst. Yeah, the first year was terrible. Things are getting well, better. If, huh? if you encounter any issues with uh, DHL and mm. CZTA, yes. you can always uh, let us know. Must, must, must um, emphasize that it's with CZTA, you don't anyhow <laughs> email us. <laughs> Because, because you ordered something and then it's not receiving what it's gonna do. <laughs> Why not? Is it DHL? We're not, <sighs> we're not DHL ambassadors now. We just genuinely like them because they treat us well. Mm, we pay them. Fair enough. If, if, if they don't treat us well and then we pay them, you'll be surprised. Some people are not very nice. It's okay, I'll send you to deal with them. Oh. <laughs> Don't want to talk to them. Go on. Uh. Give you training. It will. <laughs> training. Today's, today's Debbie's meow meow decided to escape from the kitchen. Can you please use grown up language? What is a meow meow? <laughs> it's a meow meow. <laughs> it's a meow meow. <laughs> yeah, my cats are misbehaving. Again. Why ah? Uh? Cause what? Daniel not home. Then they're like, I don't know, man. Love three good times. Come on. Yeah, so I'm gonna let this dry. I don't really, really like how stuck it is, but then I guess, uh, I'm to be blamed lah. Try this on a live show, right? Why not? It's okay. Can I <sighs> tweak it little feeding? Ha! <sighs> Brand new piece, yeah. <laughs> That, that sigh of relief. <sighs> so, are we ready? No. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Do you know, maybe, maybe you are like, you know, trying to run away from reality. Like, Stress. if we keep Debbie talking about DHL, right, she's mm. not going to remember to talk about other things. Yes. That's the plan. How do you know? So we continue on the DHL topic. Mm, yeah. Yo, so then, then you say <laughs> we're not inquiring <laughs> for them. Aya. Aya. DHL okay. should pay us money. <laughs> well, I have five questions today. Okay. Uh, do you want to pick one to five? Susan, yeah, I'm still know, going in order. order. Uh, I mean, yeah, this... one, please. Hi, yo. <laughs> You're going to keep okay. this joke. <laughs> What are you grateful for right now? Give us three things. I also have to oh, think. It's three. It's always yeah, been three. Okay. <laughs> yeah, why? Just give you one enough already. Me, you think. Wow, well, you are very far ahead. Eh? I, I regret thinking life. I should have done it earlier. But I didn't have time earlier, so... Mm. Okay, I thought of my first thing. Mm. 
Can I share first? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm glad that DHL didn't lose all our parcels. All our parcels? <laughs> <laughs> any of our muscles really oh <laughs> okay lah okay lah <laughs> sounds so terrible muscles. yeah yeah okay haven't lost anything yet don't 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 jinx it man. don't do that <laughs> it's, it's a low bar eh. it's a low bar eh. haven't lost oh any God. of our muscles yet no bar the, the bar the bar is hasn't lost all of our muscles that's that's how little faith <laughs> that we have we we fulfillment companies these days in COVID time. Why? I thought they were quite good this time round. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Very happy. It's just the customs officers are giving us trouble. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> India and Germany were looking at you. <laughs> Yo. Why you call people out? Awful your customs officers. <laughs> uh, excuse me, she's I not, she, she not call people out. Man. She call oh, okay, okay, not a moment of complaining. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah but like, you, you change my moment of gratitude to a moment of complaining. <laughs> yeah, you terrible. want to complain, complain on your own moment, can <laughs> Okay, yeah. What's why your number I two? My moment? Why number two? I haven't said why then. Oh. oh, okay, yeah, why? Why? Of yeah. course I know so, why, like, why? Because you don't have to do extra work. <laughs> yeah, what extra work? Don't have what? If they lose it, then they do. lost box what? We do. Yeah la. So you're grateful for the night. Ayah, you, eh, you, you want to be grateful for that. You talk later at your own okay. moment. I haven't okay. finished yet. Le. Haven't okay, okay, finished on, even. Yeah, not fair. Yeah, so I'm grateful because the first year we went uh, online. So CZTAE was always a Singapore uh, CZT get together uh, until the pandemic. So during the first year of the pandemic, we we made our conference available online for the first time so that uh, CZTs around the world could join us. And um, the first year was really bad because I think the, the pandemic really threw uh, every logistics company, not just DHL, um, kind of like threw them for a loop. Uh. So we had parcels going missing, Parcels getting stuck in certain airports and then not moving. So the first year was very chaotic. And I'm so glad that... Uh, so we, we, we always uh, feedback to our DHL representative. And uh, we also work very closely with the customer services. And most of the time, they do help us to resolve uh, the issues that we face which uh, is also another thing to be grateful for. Um, but, um, but this is not my number two. La. I'm just saying that it's part of uh, how, we, how we roll with uh, CCTA. So I'm, I'm happy that this time around, it hasn't been that bad. I mean, we still get inquiries. We still process inquiries. We still work with DHL to fix uh, these inquiries. But it's not as bad as the first year. I think the first year was really the worst one. I think every package, almost every package had issues. I was on the phone with DHL in 2020 and then um, my email was flooded by them and uh, it wasn't so bad this year. Yeah, so I'm very grateful for that. I don't have to keep calling them. They don't have to keep calling me. Uh, I felt like I was like working for them at that point in 2020 because like every, every day I talk to them more than I talk to my husband. Very good. Yeah. It's true, you know. I think this I year is a lot better. This is not. Yeah, so I'm thinking of delegating this task to to Stephanie next year. Yo, <laughs> I, I also don't have lunch. <laughs> did Did you share that joke already? Have I? I, I, don't think I, I, I think I think I only shared it on the blog. Yeah. Oh, is it? You yeah, can share it. <sighs> okay, lah. So that's my first one. I'll think of my mm. second one now. Okay, then I will share my DHL joke. So, uh, on the DHL website, so I'm in charge of um, being at the studio when DHL picks up the parcels from our studio. So, of course, I have to be the one selecting a time slot lah, because I will be the one there, right? And on DHL's website, they say like between the uh, the period of uh, two p- 12 p.m. to 2 p.m., you cannot schedule a pickup. And then I wondered why. Officially, yeah, officially. Mm. Yeah. I wondered why. So I, when our the uh, DHL staff came to pick it up, I asked him, you know, uh, on DHL's website, 
they make it such that I cannot schedule pickups from 12 to 2. Does that mean that that's your lunch time? He was like, yeah, yeah. Technically, it's supposed to be our lunch time, uh, but because we want to rush out your parcels to the distribution center as quickly as possible, um, we usually don't have lunch. La. So when the DHL founder, 50 years ago, he started the company, he already had this vision, you know? He called it DHL, it's in his name already. So DHL stands for don't have lunch. Then I, <gasps> are, yeah. you sure are you sure he's really? not pulling your leg? No, you can tell he's half kidding. Eh? Then after that, I'm like, oh, and then I'm like taking it very seriously. Right? So I'm like, oh, you have lunch? I'm so poor thing. Yeah, this one company Stephanie will not work for because her lunch then, is very important. Then he looked at me, then he, he looked at me, I look so shocked. Like he, no, 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 but don't have lunch, but it's still okay because dinner have la, DHL. Dinner have la. Yeah. Oh. But Susan, Susan don't know this joke. Leh. So me, she never I read don't the know. blog. I read... So she never read I the blog. I Oh. Oh. oh, so she laughed a lot with y'all because this is the first time she can read the joke. Yeah. So, dinner have la? Then I'm like, oh, very okay. good. Mm. So, thank you. If, to if you are Singaporean, stuff. you'll understand why because Singaporeans actually revolve around food. Mm, Put thing, yeah, don't have lunch, revolve around food, mm, but dinner have la? Yeah. I should cover this in bread. Hello, what are you grateful for? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm focusing on my Mara Su so much. I haven't think. Uh, <laughs> what am I grateful for? I'm grateful that I have lunch. <laughs> can so <not>. rubbish! <laughs> I'm grateful <sighs> that from 12 to 2, I can take my lunch without, without fail. <laughs> I tell you, uh, these two are crooks. Crooks, uh. And the other one will say, I'm happy I don't work for this. Ah, this too. Very stress. I think he's pulling your leg. Uh. Yeah, yeah. But some but behind every joke there's always a bit of truth behind. You know? Maybe that's yeah. how he uh you know like copes with not having lunch. Uh. What did you about it? Yeah. So we received an email from DHL. We are doing a employee wellness check. Can we check which which of our staff was it that that talk, came to pick up your your parcel? They don't sue us, can really? You slander us. <laughs> <laughs> you say you say we don't allow hey. our, our em- hey. employees to have lunch. No, it's because your employees are very dedicated workers, so they want to get. The yeah, then now nobody want to work for us. Then that's your problem. When we yeah, access so they your. Don't sue us. And then I'll point to this We direction. got no money, you sue us. <laughs> we got a lot of towels. <laughs> mm, yes, can give you. Yes, come. Uh. Yeah, so yesterday call, they called me at lunchtime. To so maybe you. they really don't have lunch. Uh. So they don't they. have lunch. <laughs> mm, okay. Yeah. <sighs> What am I grateful for? I'm grateful that CCTAE 2022 sold out of kids very early. Mm. That Why? Means that, okay. That means that a lot of people still support us and even though um, how do I phrase this? A lot of people still support us. Yeah, yeah. Even as though as opposed to nobody likes us, is it? Yeah lah. It oh. got like got some events run, run, run then nobody want to come back after that. Like what <laughs> event was, is that? I'm not gonna that that's really slender. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, why are we talking about this? Okay, you cannot be grateful uh, without putting anybody down. Eh. Very bad. Eh. I never put anybody down. I only say it in my head. You all can't. Yeah, yeah, if you are like don't have lunch, la what la DHL la what? Oh you won't. It's a funny joke, what? It's like shit with all So full of nonsense. Mm. So uh even though some people will say, wow, the customs tax is very high in my country. But I know it's not your fault. So then they, they look at the items in the kit and they feel it's still worth it to get the kit. So I'm grateful for that. Mm. Mm, I guess, I guess right, for some people, right, uh, what they pay at customs is really a lot compared to if they yeah. had bought it. But yeah, 
So yeah. I can understand why uh, people don't want the kid. Mm. And I'm quite happy if they don't want the kid, to be honest. Because yeah. I don't want them to be paying uh, too much, you see? For the most. Yeah. Um, but some of them, they want the kid because they feel that it's uh, like um, something that includes them. Yeah, it's kind of like a... Something like they attended the event, so they want to have something special. Mm. Yeah. Memorabilia. Susan, what are you grateful for? So far, I can only think of two. Eh. Mm. So I yeah. just shared two only. Yeah. Okay. The no. first thing I'm grateful for is that I managed to <laughs> go on, <laughs> on live in IG today because today is a very... <gasps> Is a uh, I don't know how to explain. <laughs> Very messy, a lot of uh, uh, things that happen today. So it's a lot for me to handle today. The the work, yeah, not only for the CDTA but also other kind of works. Then the second thing is that um, hey, what's the second thing? No, no. Uh? it's something related to the CDTA. Okay, so mm-hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. The second one is that um, my Facebook group, one of the Facebook group hit 1,500 of uh, members. Then yesterday, I actually have a live session with uh, all the members in the group and to draw together. It is a free session, then, but we are happy because I managed to see a lot of uh, uh, faces that we... Uh, they are attending my online class maybe since 2020. But mm. due to some reason, they somehow the time issues, they cannot uh, continue the learning. But because of this uh, special special online event that we have, so we managed to meet each other again. Yeah. Then at the same time, I also promote, ask them to come to promote. join the 7 FIR, <laughs> the IG oh, live on promotion. Wednesday. Yeah, come, hey. come, come. <laughs> we have a live. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Hi, so guys. The two things. I'm not sure whether anyone comes here today. <laughs> <laughs> because maybe those maybe people are working. <laughs> yeah, maybe they watch Yeah. It's okay. The way you say evacuate, we have a live. We have a live. Yeah, we have a live. Yeah, mm. we have yeah. a live. So we are alive every week. <laughs> I hope so. You know, <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> so for the, we will. Yeah. Yo. Nobody is planning on dying, I hope. No, nobody. Mm. No plans as of yet. No. Well, and so thing, even though you, you, you are feeling tired uh, somehow, but when I say you are alive again. <laughs> wow, today, today was a crazy day also you know, for me. I tell you, right? Mm. The moment I woke up, uh, all the way until like 30 minutes before a live show, right, I was like non-stop doing something, like non-stop working. And and I had to rush through my lunch. So maybe I should go and work for DHL also. <laughs> yeah. I, I will fit right into the work culture. Yes. The BD accounts today. Woo! <laughs> Yo, oh my gosh. <laughs> Always a process. <sighs> Then every time, I don't want to do again. The next year, come again. <laughs> People support us, ma. And it's it, quite happy that even though, even uh, those people who are coming back, but also have new people coming in. Mm. So, mm. which means that we are very, uh, we are still on the track and still able to, to attract new people in. Mm. Uh, so, oh, can it be the third one that I, Grateful for? Yo! <laughs> I tell you this. this on money lifestyle. Hey, because the uh, answering question is uh, very challenging, you know. <laughs> on money lifestyle. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to say that I'm very grateful for the paper that I have. So, so, so I like to collect paper. So, recently, I unearthed a stash from like 2014. Of 2014. Paper. Yeah, yeah, 2014. I don't know. Let me see whether I have it here. So I I unearthed. Okay, I think it's here. Sorry, I have too many things on my table. I don't know where I put. Okay, so these tiles that you see are craft paper tiles uh, from Etsy. 
I think the seller is still around. Her 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 shop name is Time to Split. Okay, don't ask me why. I also don't know. Split but that's her banana? name. Yeah, so that's from Etsy. Then I have... Do I have it here? No, I think I don't have I have other paper also from them. But what I did was I tinted them and I gave it to Stephanie and Susan uh, yeah, with okay. the echo dye. Yeah, so those are from the same shop actually and are made of different things. So, very interesting lah. I mean... And then, of course, the new translucent towels, tra- translucent towels, translucents. I don't know how to pronounce. Already very bad English, and then you add the Z behind. It's like very hard to say. Yeah. So this is one of the it, craft towels. Why did they call it translucent? Like transcending. You can watch their intro. I think they mention it there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Can. Uh, exactly which part I don't know because I didn't <laughs> turn on my sound. Okay. Yeah. So this is uh what my other or rather my first translucent towel. Yeah, and so different types of paper and makes me happy because I don't know, simple things make me happy. La. So this one is also another piece of paper. I think I think this is a strap more also. So this is a strap more as well, and then this is the eco dye. Do I have some more here? I have a lot of I have a lot of things here actually. <laughs> I'm just trying not to drop them. <laughs> yeah, so fun ah. So that's another thing I'm thankful for. Okay, I only got one more. You Steph. Sorry, I'm snacking. Wait ah. <laughs> snacking. <laughs> I'm grateful, grateful for, for the snack. No, cannot, cannot. <laughs> Oh, you also know cannot ah. Later, wow. Later tonight, I'll be teaching uh, a workshop in person. So that's very interesting. Back to having in person uh, workshops. Uh, I think that means that things are settling down in terms of the pandemic. Of course, it's not like completely over, you know. And I don't agree with some people who say like, "Oh, it's just like catching a normal flu." You know, yesterday I was I was at a mall where there was this guy who wasn't even wearing his mask and it was like it's mm. in, it's still compulsory uh in Singapore to wear mm. a mask indoors. Mm. Yeah. So <sighs> some people especially when it comes to like healthcare, recently I, I think it was last week. Last week I went to like uh, my dentist for routine scaling polishing. Routine cleaning like, huh? Every once every six months. And one the staff was like, Oh um now, basically, COVID is like the common flu, you know. You just have to live with it. I was thinking to myself, she's in healthcare, like. Right? You know why? I think they're very jaded. Fair. Maybe they are. No, I think they're very jaded. <laughs> yeah, they okay. are so tired and jaded. So, you know, because uh, recently, the government lowered the alert. Yes. To, yeah, so then... Whereas it, the numbers are still climbing. You see, they, uh, you see uh, when, they, when they lower the alert, right, for us, it doesn't really mean a lot of things. Mm. But for the healthcare worker, it means everything, you see. Mm. It means that their, their shifts are more spread out and things like that. So, so I think a lot of them are very agitated. Yeah. Mm. Fair enough. That's a, a good perspective to have. But for all the non-healthcare people, <laughs> please... It's not it's not just the flu for some people who are new compromised or some people who have uh, young children and elderly living with them for them it might be still be a very very big deal. So let's all do our part, yeah. Wash your hands, don't cough in people's face. <laughs> yeah. Um so yeah, happy to have in-person classes. Like I've always like mentioned when I have uh, online corporate workshops, they say like, oh, what's the difference between in-person and an online workshop? I always say it's the energy because a lot of people when they attend online workshops, they don't really want to turn on their cameras. And even if they did, I can't really see what they're drawing like continuously <clears throat> throughout the workshop. So that's one thing I miss, just walking around and then just having conversations. Being nosy. Yes, kipo, kipo people. <laughs> what, what are you doing? Why enjoy like that? What are you doing? Uh? <laughs> yeah. And also, it's when I wonder what happened to that guy, you know. He was a guy, right? Or the, yeah. or the other one where I'm like, do you need to go pee pee? <laughs> <laughs> the things I say sometimes. But anyways, back to it. Wait, when you're also walking and, around. And he was a grown man. He was a grown man. He was a grown man. 
Yeah. And he looked at us funny after that. <laughs> Thank you, Stan. Quite is. I don't know yeah, why I have to associate Quite myself. Quite when, when, when you're walking around in, in, in a class or so, you, you have students who ask you certain questions and then that leads to more conversations. Whereas, there's something that you don't really get when you're teaching an online workshop, you know? So that's, that's something to be grateful for, to have online classes. Uh, to have online classes, yes, to continue on throughout this year. And then now we're pivoting back towards having more in-person classes. So that's that's fun. Yeah. Maybe you want your last one? Mm. I still haven't thought of it. <laughs> Can I come back later? Mm. Susan, did you say three? Yes, yeah, she did. The she one cheated. that cheated, cheated on. Oh. <laughs> I just want to cheat, then I'm grateful for my snack. Yo! Grateful. Well, I'm grateful that the internet is working to me. Fair enough. Yeah. I had so more like. I had more like. Yeah, some days where the internet has been very bad. And uh, choppy, and but I'm just glad that today it seems pretty stable. And also, there was an Instagram update yesterday. Oh, there was, I didn't know. Yeah, so <laughs> I didn't know. Oops. Yeah, so I hope it has fixed some of the issues. Mm. Yeah, so those are my three things. Mm. What's your third thing? Wait lah, hold on lah. Oh, oh, you <laughs> haven't finished lah. I thought you finished already. That's why I asked. What was it? Because I thought I forgot. Um. Or I misheard. Why are you so defensive? Are you? <laughs> Just asking only lah. Cannot. <laughs> <laughs> Me feel bad. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, no, but she's usually like that also. <laughs> grateful for. Yeah, what are you grateful for? Shana had a cough over the weekend. And then just as a precaution, we didn't let her go to school on Monday and Tuesday. She goes to child I thought you care. found out it was the Ribena. Yeah, so Saturday, Saturday, um, if you attended our Monday live over the weekend, Saturday and Saturday, um, Charlotte and I attended a baby shower in Debbie's family. Mm. And then uh, one of Debbie's aunts offered uh, Ribena to Charlotte so she drank it uh. she drank it and then she developed a cough for no reason and then when I got home and I told my husband you know, I think it's the Ribena because she only developed the cough after wait, wait, wait. you are grateful that she developed a cough is it? no can you please just let me finish my story from start to finish then my husband said we have oh, to take yeah. a detour back to last <laughs> week yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> just stick with me, stick with me. And then my husband said, oh yeah, that makes sense because I'm allergic to Ribena. And she's four years old. I've never been told that she's allergic to Ribena. And we've, we've been, he and I have been married for five years. So I'm like, huh, you're allergic to Ribena? <laughs> then he's like, oh yeah, I, I break out in like a uh, rashes when I drink Ribena. I was like, huh? And then but she then, didn't <laughs> have a rash though. She did have a Did rash. Up, but no, no, she didn't. But it like, sh- allergies show up in different ways in different people. Uh, so I think maybe the cough was because of that. Anyways, Monday, Tuesday, she didn't go to school. So today is Wednesday. She went back. She's much better now. Very happy. So I'm grateful that she <laughs> got to go back to school. Not that she got a cough. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know. It sounded like that. Leh. Yo! <laughs> stick with me. Stick with me. I'm, I'm there's a point to my story. No. No stick with you. <laughs> Get Ribena so, poisoning. Yeah, man. Who knew it can be poisoned by? Not poison, but like, why your husband cannot communicate with you earlier? Though? Yeah. Oh, and also my husband has G six something called G six PD. So it's like this, um, genetic. I I think it's hereditary probably. So basically, he cannot eat things like black beans and all. Then he didn't tell no, but me. But there's, there's like I told you, there are two kinds of black beans. You. Know? I know. You need to get and, him to specify. Things. And my all black beans is not not edible, and he didn't tell me. You know, until one fine day, I told I like, um. Ordered salad for him, then in the salad put black beans. So he's like, Oh, actually, I cannot eat black beans. I'm like, Why? Because I got G6PD. I'm like, Huh? 
What's that? <laughs> so apparently, if you eat certain food, you like experience uh symptoms of anemia, and it can make the person go to hospital if it's severe enough. I'm like, thank you very much for not telling me. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so yeah. Debbie, is that all? Eh, I gave more than three already. Eh. Okay, three come. Really, you know. Question number two. Very happy. Whoa, how come, how come I'm being put in a spot? Ah? I, I, I want never... to Did. <laughs> Daniel. Say so loud. Say so loud some more. Oh. Uh, okay, number two. What is the best thing about having an art studio and why? What's the best thing? Yeah. Try and go first. So, so here, I think I wrote this question, right? Uh, I know, I remember why I wrote this question. Why? You want to know why? Why? Because there was one day while we were on air, Susan said something like, wow, it would be so nice if we had our own art studio. <laughs> yeah, I, look at, I look at myself <laughs> and I was like, what? Do you really have a studio? <laughs> what? For, for Susan. <laughs> Yeah, so, so, so this, this 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 question is here because of <laughs> Susan is your fault. Oh she away? Her Maybe she ran away yeah, first. Oh dear, oh, very smart. Then should I go first? Do you remember? Do you remember that incident? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and then do you remember we were both like, huh? What? <laughs> she forgot yeah. Too many. Do you children. remember? Or do you remember? Yeah, yeah. Okay. What's so I didn't just thing? dream it, right? Best thing about having a studio, huh? I think it's that there is a space away from home to go to. Mm. You can go to a cafe also, la. No, cannot. Because that one cannot. There's no couch for you to lie down. Who says? There's Some no... cafe got couch. Yeah, then you lie down on their couch, the one. You lie down on my couch. You are the one who dirty my couch. Yeah, drop pain on you, good thing. Workouts. You chew a lot. Uh, yeah. But it's just nice to have like a place where like, all your things are. You cannot Why? leave your things at a cafe. That's one thing. Hustle, you, you like having a studio just because of storage, is it? Is that what you're saying? No, I see. Like, it's a space away from home with your things. La. So it's just a storage la, outside it's the house. A place, lah. No storage lah. You give me a it, cupboard, it's different la. It's still storage what? Storage lah. Storing... Work plus store, that's why. <laughs> that's why we ran a place yeah. called work plus store. Mm. You work there, and then you store things there. Mm, very good. <laughs> what about you? What's the best thing about having a studio? <sighs> Definitely not the accounts. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Well, the good thing about having a studio is that it has made me more serious as a as an artist in pursuing my art. I don't think uh, if I didn't have a, an art studio, I don't think I would be so enthusiastically uh, going live and, and posting on Instagram every day and stuff like that, you know? So it's kept me more relevant, I guess, to the industry that we're in. Mm. Yeah, and I don't know whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, uh, but yeah, so. So it would be a bad thing. Mm, it means that I have less time for other things. Because uh. mm. I'm stuck. Uh. I'm stuck uh, running the studio. Uh. Or rather, mm. I'm, I'm, I'm focused more, I have to focus more on certain things. Uh, that otherwise, if I didn't have a studio, I wouldn't be. Uh, so concerned about mm. because having having a okay being an artist is being an artist right yeah. but having a studio as a entity as a commercial entity mm. is a different thing you know right yeah. you can you can splurge on your your high class pencils and your whatever if you want as an artist right no one will judge mm. you but then if you're a business and you are an art studio that doesn't make money and yet you are still splurging on us. We cannot be what you you need to have some. I mean, you can thank you. Uh, I mean, you, it's not not good. <laughs> I mean, you you have to be not accountable to the partners, ah. Mm. So 
So you just gave me permission to hey, hey, spend hey. the money. Cannot ah. <laughs> Well, well technically it's all in my account anyway. Fair, fair enough. <laughs> so even if I did, you wouldn't know until later. And you don't do accounts, so you wouldn't know. Ah! Yes, yes. Stab is like, why are we having this conversation? Money logic. Yeah, someone recorded someone. <laughs> Have this offline this in a private call with me. Why? Then, then nobody will know, ma. It's a joke, lah. It's a joke, lah. If I want to run away, I ran like four years ago. Right? Run away now for what? Like after, <laughs> after, after killing myself with work, and then I run away. Mm, you had enough. You run before I killed myself with work, right? You had yeah. enough. Then you run away. Good idea. Mm. Yes. What's the Do question think- just now? Oh. <laughs> Susan. Question is, what's the best thing about having a studio? Then you should ask her where she remember what she said in office. Oh, ask, ask, ask. Oh, just now I, I, I heard some, something <laughs> that you said. <laughs> what is it? Mm. Okay, <laughs> I, I didn't say that I didn't own a studio, but I remember that I said that I, it's so good if I have a I shop winners, you that's know. selling. Shop, no, 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 not no. studio. I got winners, I got winners. <laughs> Steph, Steph. I, I don't know. Studio, we need to right? go and find. You all go and find the video. <laughs> I remember <laughs> you said was... studio. You said studio. You didn't say shop. Oh, you you say shop, I will still oh. be okay. But I remember you said studio. That's why I remember I do now. Oh, no. It's shop. Okay. Yeah, because she said... It's shop. I said the selling art materials. Yeah, no. Then... Originally, she said studio. Then she corrected herself. Oh. Ah. So both have truth. Lah. Yes. Okay, okay. Uh-huh. Uh, very good. I didn't know what I said. Yo. <laughs> okay, so uh-huh. Susan, what's your answer? What's your favorite part about having a studio? I think it's the the teamwork is the is something that I appreciate a lot. That mm-hmm. having a studio. Teamwork. Because uh previously <laughs> I'm uh working alone in the Zantango oh, teaching. But yeah. You're so, <laughs> <laughs> then uh, with the studio then which means that with uh, uh, both of you then oh, I think the, the teamwork then the it, it's something that I I love very much uh, so you love the teamwork not love us ah? can be anybody the teamwork recycling. can it be Steph, exist without us, person <laughs> Steph, I think can a team of course we do work oh she also got to be like that. Hey, Susan, we love you also because you do work. Mm. We do what we do. Mm, love thank you. you. It will be fun. Mm. Yeah. Ask what we find. Yeah. So, must work very hard mm, so yes. that you keep loving me. Mm, yes. Mm. Okay, for me, it's very simple. You just give me some of the bread can. You don't need to work. Every, every live show, you ask her for food. Ah. It's a joke. It's a long, it's a long joke. time. Every, every live show, she, she asks me. She asks me. She give me, this is she like, give me this like Charlotte going around begging for, for things that she, she have a dollar. Yeah, go around. So Assume you... that every dollar belongs to her. Yeah, now she <laughs> see money on the table is hers. Yeah. Ayo. It's it tough, tough. also the same, eh? Right? When you see the coins on the table, then yeah. Put my to pay in the piggy bank. <laughs> Very good. Money you must sell it at home, can ah. Uh. Outside, cannot ah. Uh. <laughs> It's theft, you know, no legal definition of theft. Eh. you take and then you move the object. It's theft. It's it's accidental. I thought it's nobody's. So find the keepers. Come on, that. It looks so thing. similar. It looks my so wife. similar to the my my, my the mom coins money. I have at home. <laughs> yeah. This is a coin. That is also a coin. Mm. All are coins. Mm. So means I can take. Mm. All are mine. Same same. Mm. So only sourdough bread only, eh? then um, got you a pink. Ah. Oh, <laughs> mm, recently got you a pink. I don't have what. You only have. Then you can eat. You got the cheese that pink. I can't eat. Yeah, because when I because when I when I buy right, I think of what they be can everything, eat. Yeah, yeah everything okay. Yeah, then I yesterday. Then... Okay, I tell you why. Mm. Uh, yesterday I had this mooncake. Ah, uh, so I bought Stephanie oh, uh, yeah, two yeah. small mooncakes. You know. 
yesterday. And then I bought one small one for my husband. So we were sharing. Uh. Then uh, I had only a little bit only. Eh. Then uh, the whole night I cannot sleep. Why? Because of oh, the mooncake? Yeah, my heart my heart palpitated the whole night. As in my heart uh red and decreased by itself the whole night. And then and then I couldn't sleep. Yeah. Because of the sugar? I don't know. I hope I hope it's just the sugar, but I suspect right that there's a bit of caffeine inside. I think so. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So the, the res the response was quite bad last night. Yeah, so I, I also scared. Uh. Then yeah. But but the good news the good news is that last weekend I tried to have chicken and I could take it. I didn't have heart palpitation. Congrats. I haven't had chicken in a long time. Eh. <laughs> Sounds like such a funny thing to say. Congrats yeah, what, for eating what chicken. Makes you want to, what makes you want to take the risk uh, or to try? <laughs> hey, oh, can you imagine the whole house, the whole everybody at the party can eat that? I'm the only one sit there like idiot. Eh. Oh, okay. So I want to yeah. be social, you understand? Yo, Just okay. join in. Ah. Join in. And die. Die lor. then you all run Yo. the yourself. Do the accounts oh. yourself. No more teamwork. Oh. Very good. Don't want. Don't want. Don't want. Actually, you all miss me. Ah. It's, it's you all miss the teamwork. Yeah, terrible. <laughs> what the heck? Talk about teammate. Long time. Pui, chow it. Next time, next time, see Debbie eat chicken, they're like, no, I the, the, the plate out of her hand. Why piak the plate? Can, can I eat? eat? Okay, can no, I now eat? she can eat. Now she can eat. Yeah, now I can eat what? No, cannot. But I don't think I will overdose. La. I think maybe the most I will, I will try is like maybe once a month or something. La. You get what I mean? Mm. Just to... Mm. Yeah. So sure. Yeah. Because now I, I mean, I still take eggs. I still, I still take tofu. All these things, right? So I think it's a enough. It's a good enough balance for me. Uh. Yeah, because they say that actually the chicken uh, meat, right? Is not. I mean, this is a. Uh, I'm talking about TCM and everything, uh. So TCM, they don't, uh, advise. Uh, because it's kind of like a high allergy sort of food, you know, chicken. Yeah, can cause a lot of inflammation and stuff. Like that. Even TCM also. They believe. Yeah, so one day we can do hot pot, then you all can eat, then I can eat some chicken. Can. And I'll eat the Thai. Can. Yeah, of course, Steph will say can. Uh, she. Very important, you know, the meal. <laughs> oh, please, uh. Not important, eh? Okay, yeah. then, then, then I don't invite you, uh, I invite Susan's family. Yeah. So sad. Okay. <laughs> then Susan will invite Steph. Oh, thank you. <laughs> she said she don't want what. Not important what. <laughs> Not important what. I'm trying to be very careful. I don't want to spill anything. Okay, what's question number three? What's question number three? What is your idea of a dream vacation? Oh. Dream vacation. No, no budget. Just go. No, but... Your dream vacation, ah. <laughs> no, dream can we realistic dream, real dream one, Can we oh, realistic then, dream? Then you can have a realistic budget based <laughs> response if you want. <laughs> dream vacation. I always wanted to see the. What do they call it? The. the... Borealis? The lights? Aurora. Aurora, thank you very much. Yeah, I always thought that was that was a nice idea. We laugh. Terrible. Borealis. Yeah, it's called Aurora Borealis, right? Yeah, then you only remember half? The the behind part, yeah. <laughs> English not my first thing. Susan, Susan, you only give us sour though. Just give her dough. Dough. <laughs> sour. Sour. That's a good one. <laughs> this is a IKEA sour dough bread, huh? What do you mean? Must do it yourself. <laughs> okay. I do the flour. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Hey, good idea, eh, Susan. Then, uh, mm-hmm. then you don't have to let the thing set, la, rise, la, what? La. Yeah, yeah, just give her yeah. the original. Then I can give you tomorrow also. Okay, oh. very good. Mm. Just a pack and then mm. here you go. Mm. Yes. Then good plus idea. the recipe. Mm, okay. Very good. Wow, mm, very good idea. Mm. Mm. 
Yeah. This one every week I can give. Yeah. Every week give flower. Hmm. I think that would be nice. Because people then, sit in and the then, ice. And then and then and then and then ah, uh, you are not not Stephanie Jennifer. You are Jennifer. Got a lot of people say Jennifer. Like, then because to the point. Because because you only remember the second part, ma. To the point where people people keep calling me Jennifer. Then they say just sign your name, Stephanie J. Then I was discussing it with her. I was like, but then is 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 Debbie new? People say Debbie. Is Susan new? People say Susan. Then why is it Stephanie Jennifer? People call me Jennifer. Why take the second part? Why not the first part? Because no they are like you. Don't want to say Aurora. <laughs> it's Kama. So it's Borelis. Borelis. Mm. Not Aurora. Borelis. And how? Very good. Uh, I think I think that would be a nice. nice Can you topic. imagine they call Susan as Yo? Yo? <laughs> that I have a friend so and they were trying to be funny and they say yo <laughs> yo but like, that one is y o yo but I'm saying you leh y e o eh your name eh yo also yo the pronunciation also yo <laughs> why the conversation become <laughs> okay okay what's your dream vacation come back come back Aurora, I want to see the Aurora. Yeah, you so you see right there and don't stay there, is it? So you fly there, see right there and go home, is it? Your <laughs> dream vacation. What else do I want to see? Not what you want to see in your life, okay? It's I, I your want, dream vacation. Yeah. I want, I want, I want go, I want go Greece. Greece sounds nice. Switzerland! I want to go Switzerland. My mother keeps saying Switzerland very nice. You need to she explain say, what part of the thing will be your dream vacation, not just the, say, the destination. She said that in her on her school when you walk down this path on her can, school on her school compound don't like that <laughs> English not my first language <laughs> on her school compound got like berry bushes she'll yeah pick the berries. but then your mother said that your French is worse so listen then no she'll choice. pick the berries <laughs> listen then she'll pick the berries and she said can okay, just eat it like that then it's very nice very sweet That's the game. That's so you want to go there only cause for food again <laughs> probably I she's still, she still also got nice wine maybe they put all you think about is food well, I mean, I think culture is very tied to food. No, you yeah. are very tied to food. For other okay. people, there are more things to culture. Like, see the temple, see the mountain, see the see the village, you know? Yours is not the I, food. I will go see the... the berries. The... <laughs> no, it's just, the idea of it sounds very, I don't know, romantic. Maybe. Other country got no berry, man. Tola, but it's just, she's like, said, like, this is a part of her, her childhood, you know? Like, her, her growing up years. She like, didn't such a nice go movie. there as a child, though. She went there uni student, la. still a child, yeah. compared to now. No. Still child. Compared to now, children. Oh God. <sighs> All children. Anyways. So, yeah. <sighs> Dream so like, vacation. Yeah, I always say. Where are you staying? Aurora. I don't know. Like, I never think about that so far. Yeah, so you want to see, but you never think, only think of food. No, I only think of what I want to see, what I want to do. That's it. <laughs> Have no, you planned the, the question? The, the, the question is not what you want to see. Eh. The but I don't know. I never plan. Of a vacation. I never plan. You can say things plan, like, you can say things like, oh, I would like to have a beach vacation, you know, go to a resort sleep. by the sea, you know, sleep. that kind of thing. I will sleep in the ice house. I got to see the the videos. Have you seen? Are you sure that one is Switzerland? No, no, it's not Switzerland. It's yeah, at the Aurora so Borelli. Sala country also. Switzerland, I don't know. I, my mother never told me. She only told me she stay in the the school compound. So I don't know. I cannot go to the school compound obviously because I won't be studying there. Oh Sneaky do it. I want to give you holiday also. So come. I don't go lah. Don't go. <laughs> don't go. Don't go. Stay in also, Switzerland. once you mention, then we will get it. Yeah. Don't know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe our office got money, our studio got money, and then we can she, go. Very good. Yeah. Mm. She she doing serving work for what where the team can No, no, I'm not, not going to bring Stephanie. I just buy her one sourdough bread. Then she stay so here. Super thing. Then yeah, all of us will go. <laughs> I, I go to your house to take care of the money. <laughs> sourdough <laughs> not enough for one week. You need to give one week, <laughs> one week of sourdough. Supply. Then, she, then she do the first one, then the rest is all dough. Now, nah, here's your sourdough. And then here's your dough. You, you add the sour mm, to it. Please dough. make it when fresh. <laughs> yeah. So rubbish. So, Susan? What's your dream vacation? She has to go back to Taiwan. Dream I think. She said before. No, no, no. no. Oh, no. Uh, not it, it's, not, it's not a specific country, but it's, um, the dream vacation is to go to a place that we've 
uh, your very good friends or very close friends or family. Mm. Then uh, I I always like a homestay, stay mm. in some other people's house. Then people will cook those uh, local food. Then uh, bring me to bring us to uh some uh places that mm. might not be a tourist tourist mm. places, but it's mm. very uh, unique. Yeah, this is what I dream for. Mm. So, so when Udika comes, then then you going back to Malaysia? Is it that weekend? Are you not sure? We can arrange. I, I can. But arrange. that weekend you are teaching the autumn reef, eh? summer autumn autumn reef. Autumn reef, autumn yeah. summer. Don't like that. Don't add extra seasons to it. Please. No la, I'm checking. Is it? Hi, yeah. I corrected myself, law. Excuse me. <laughs> mm. Yeah. She so, was so sitting in that Malaysia that, car to get the signal. Then you end up teaching yourself because she cannot connect eh. Can, can, can. Oh, Susan, so she asked you. I will arrange, I'll make sure. Are you, you really? Go. Really? Mm. <laughs> but, but I want to tell you that, I want to tell you that if you don't go back on the weekend, I want to tell you that if, I mean, if you don't uh, need to go back on that weekend, right, then, we can take Yudika to other things lah when she comes. We can go eat fish ball noodle and roti prata. Ay, what is review <laughs> and <laughs> food? And rojak. Hey, please. Okay, in Singapore, our <sighs> heritage is very much linked to food. She said she can't eat gluten. Oh then god. you bring her go and eat roti prata. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she can't eat I don't want to go that. to the ER after that, no. She can't eat gluten? What? Singapore food don't contain gluten? She avoids gluten. Oh. What's then you're going to force people into eating things that they cannot eat when they come. No, like, it's just, I don't know what kind of food. So horrible. <laughs> what kind of food don't contain gluten? Pasta, rice? Now no, I, no, no, I know why you are, I, now I know why Yudika stay with me and not you. Yeah, man. I you I poison said, her. Yeah, I'm poison, poison her my daughter. husband. I will poison her. <laughs> 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 eat black bean, la, eat white bean. La, la. I go, oh my goodness. No, but the white bean, no one is like, mm, she never talk about it at all, you see. Hmm. Well, yeah, he never so talked about it. I didn't know my husband was lactose intolerant until... Oh, that one I know. You told me about it very Until like a ago. year and a half into our marriage. But so lactose that's, that's intolerance how... is very common though. Yeah, yeah it is. Uh. Yeah. But like, you would think that when you get married to someone, you tell them <laughs> these things, but apparently not. Mm. I, think, so I think we all can send you all both to some communication course. Uh. Mm. So if I end up accidentally killing my husband, please know that it's not like I trying to like kill him. No, just... that time you went to tell the taxi driver that you go push him off the cliff. <laughs> that was different. <laughs> Susan, do you know the story? <laughs> I didn't know. The the story is that this is oh, a oh. very violent one, you know. <laughs> I said. No. I said, I said if my husband become become uh too annoying, then I'll throw him. I'll I'll book a a flight out to like uh middle of nowhere Bali then got high cliffs and all. How is then Bali the middle of nowhere? There are some places so that are middle of nowhere. Police. No, there are some places that are really middle of nowhere. Then I, I'll bring him up to a high cliff and then push him down. Then That's the middle of the sea, him. not the middle of nowhere. Push him down and then after that he, 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 we will say that, that he tripped and then I can cash out on life insurance. Then I'll really marry him. And then, the, then you know when the, she said that, right? The taxi driver. <laughs> the taxi driver. You know. you know. <laughs> yeah, the taxi driver looked at me uh, like, oh, this woman... <laughs> Look at me, you know, then I, I was so malu at that. I don't know why he looked at me. Eh. It's not I say one. Eh. <laughs> it's not your friend. Ah. <laughs> okay, no, she... <sighs> no. So she said it, right? But I got the death stare. Like. I don't know what then, I did wrong. Then eh. my husband said, right now, he don't have life insurance, so don't push him down and cliff him until got life insurance. Then do it. Then I said, okay. <laughs> So, so, it's a so joke. why didn't he it's tell you about the Rabina then? The Rabina I don't know lah. Huh? I don't know. No, no no, he, just gets hives ma. he just gets hives. He doesn't die. He just gets mildly inconvenience. Maybe so, so he that. cannot have hives but he can die. Uh. That's his logic. Uh. Mm, yes, correct. So he's more interested in dying than having hives. <laughs> okay. Good you to get know. Hives, you get hives, you don't get life insurance payout. Uh. Right. Right around Susan. <laughs> you die then you get life insurance payout. Mm. Susan, you want to insure uh, this couple? Yeah. I cannot. Susan, <laughs> Susan, Susan introduce someone insurance. to you. Introduce someone to you. Like can... Huh? You don't like them, is it? Give them trouble. 
<laughs> no, no, no. It's my cousin. Care, she said, she said, she said that I cannot sell to you all, but I will introduce someone else to you all. So me, she don't want mm. to be involved, you know. Yeah, la, she want to trouble someone else. Cause she know your motive. Your motive is to sure. cash out illegally. Terrible. Oh, is that is that is that it? That's illegal. Uh. You plot to kill someone. Oh yeah, fair enough. Yeah, of course it's illegal. Uh. What kind of country will let you buy insurance then kill somebody? Eh. What if he's willing? If he's willing what to die? Her? Yo, Susan, please. Please educate her. Stop, I, I stop, really... stop this topic on this online. <laughs> it's so terrible. I worry that police later will chase after us <laughs> to get oh, no. all the statement. Oh no. <laughs> we can even have a YouTube channel nah, here you go here's our statement <laughs> oh my goodness now you wonder why uh, our Facebook group always gonna the, the policing policing? Facebook. yeah Facebook keeps oh. policing our our mm. our Facebook group you know yes, must, and yes, then, and then yes, all that go. all that goes on inside is art so I don't know what they're policing also no, no, it's, because... it's the person it's no. this person no <laughs> is, this, is this crook how to kill husband quietly. <sighs> okay. Anyways. It's not quiet already. Uh, you already confessed <laughs> to the, the taxi driver already. Taxi driver, then we have to push him off of a cliff in, also. Oh my god. Okay, Debbie, what's your dream vacation? Not to go with you. <laughs> <laughs> the vacation without Stephanie. Hmm. <laughs> Very dangerous. Yeah, yeah. I went on a few vacations, right? And then Stephanie panicked so badly. Do you remember? All right, when? The first few years that we were uh, working together. Went to Thailand. A few times, I uh, went to England, went to Thailand. Oh, England, yeah, I forgot about that one. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm blocking it out of my memory. <sighs> that one was awful. What happened, actually? I can't remember. I, I can tell you after this life. <laughs> oh, okay. It's not every... Yeah. My 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 dream vacation is her her nightmare. Why? Everything. Because I go without her, ma. So she has he to go. Everything. She go. She go for three months. Then I have, I have no choice but to do. Yeah, good idea. I, I should cry. just leave mm-hmm. the country. <laughs> call call police. My friend is missing. She can't do accounts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I actually think that um. I, I think my dream vacation, right, will be somewhere with countryside, with uh, not just the beach, you know, access to access to the forest, the mountains. And I think it will be nice to go back to Japan at some point. And I want to go and visit uh, Taiwan at some point also. Because I think the last time I was at Taiwan was very, very long ago. Really. I think Taiwan also is a different place now. Very, very different place. So it'll be nice to go to these places. Then I think anywhere that has like a forest, a mountain, a sea, nearby the sea, I'll be very happy. Yeah, so that that's my dream vacation. Uh. And um I've been known to work through vacation also. Like <laughs> my email doesn't stop, you know. Uh my business partner doesn't stop contacting me also. No. <laughs> Harassment. <laughs> yeah, she will she will text and then she'll she'll complain about things and then she'll ask how to do this and what do I do. Yeah. So well, to be fair, it's a while already. So maybe this time I can hold the fort better. <sighs> Have faith. Don't Have bring faith. laptop. Don't bring handphone. Don't no Wi Fi. Don't bring handphone, you get yeah. lost somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> no. Get a new number that no one can get you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you love me so much, huh? You know, you know, I suddenly got this uh, vision that one day when, when Susan Yeo is done with us, right? She's going to change her number. She's going to mm. change she's her address. email. She's going to no move la. her house. She don't want to tell us where she is. She's hey, like, you thought out. so easy to move your house, ah? Need a lot of money, eh? <laughs> yeah, that's the that. point, ma. Because you want to get rid of us. Yeah. I think I will not change my number. This number follow me for a very long time. Really. Oh, so she stuck with us forever. Very good. Cool. She just blocked you, ah? No. Oh. So <laughs> What? So Yeah, okay. like you harass her so much about the sourdough. Poor thing. Okay. Every every live show also talk about it. <laughs> it's a joke. I think the the the, so, the solution is that I should find one day to teach 
her how to do the sourdough. No, you yeah, just give her the starter, then you let her go and figure out herself, really. I, I always tell my mother. <laughs> I always yeah, tell my mother. Yeah, figure out herself, really. I always tell my mother, when someone makes something for you, it's 17% nicer than if you want me to make it yourself. No, that's because you're lazy. No, it's really true. 17% nicer. Why is it only 17%? It's a specific number. 17%. I don't want to make anything for you really. Only 17% only. Yo! Can nah, I the, 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 the ROI is not compatible. Yo! ROI and I not compatible. My return on investment should be higher than 17%. My return on sourdough. <laughs> <laughs> ROS <laughs> So then it's like I'm not going to eat it I'm not going to eat it I'm not going to eat it Okay What's question number four? What is the most awkward moment of your life? Describe Oh this one I also need to think it. Why would I want to share with anyone? Because you are naturally awkward So am I Yeah I already got like Real in my head of all the awkward moments I have. I want to share with anyone. Just share one, not so awkward one. Eh. I had this friend. I used to have very, very bad anxiety. Can see, I know she have a lot, and then she was sure. No, no, no. Right? Even though she feels that she don't want to tell you. No, I'm telling you <laughs> advice. So then my huh? new friend. Hello. Never ask you for your advice, eh? No, just before we share anything, okay? Just let me have this moment. <laughs> this friend of mine. <laughs> At the point of time, I'm struggling with very, very bad anxiety. Then I say, oh, I feel very awkward around people. Then I don't know how to do myself. I don't know how to say. I don't know how to act normal. Which, to be fair, I also don't know how to act normal now. I just care less about it. But you're not normal, right? So yeah, exactly. So I just, I just care less. La. No, but at the point of time, I really wanted people to like me. And now I just don't care about you. Accept me, you accept me. You don't accept me, you don't accept me. You, Anyways. You don't like me, you give me sado, I'll like you. <laughs> yes, very good. <laughs> <laughs> this friend of mine, he said... Why do you think why do you think you're awkward? <laughs> this moment why do you think you're awkward? Yeah. So he said it's only awkward if you think it's awkward. So it's in your head. You care too much about what people think. And that helped me get over a lot a large part of my anxiety. Because whenever my brain would tell me, Oh, you're being very weird or awkward, I'll just say like says who la, right? Like by who standard. Right? And then that helped take the pressure off of things. Yeah, okay, I'm going to think about a question now. I'm doing my <laughs> But if you are weird, you're just weird. Lah. It's still you. Ah. Why? It's yeah. Just, it's just some people are just not, you know. So in the past, I used to be very self-conscious. Nothing wrong with that. What? Yeah, I used to be very you self-conscious. still are. No, I'm not self-conscious. I'm still then, weird, yes. But I've, I'm not so in my own head when like, oh, am I doing this correctly? Am I like behaving like, in a socially appropriate manner. Now it's like, I'm weird, I'm weird. Like, you think I'm weird, I'm weird. Then you go accept me, you accept me. If you don't, then we're not meant to be friends. Like. We're not meant to be... Yo, so then that's how come I'm stuck. You... Because you're also very weird. You have your I own weird quotes. Eh. <laughs> I, I don't want also. Eh. We don't want or not? are fans. <laughs> Ayo, my, I hope you <laughs> And then? I'm eating. I'm thinking. Hold on. <laughs> and I don't like chewing noises. Hmm, <laughs> most awkward moment. Well, I will say that knowing Stephanie, right? So, so maybe okay. When I was younger, I was I was also quite awkward, mm. uh, Okay, um, but then as I grew up, right, I kind of got over it. It wasn't so bad. Then I met Stephanie. Then now, now we are both awkward together. Cause she does very awkward things. Then I'm with her. Like, like she will tell the taxi driver that very she's good. going to kill her husband and stuff like that. <laughs> very good. Yeah. Oh, oh, I remember one, but it's it's not my most awkward. Not really our what most kind of awkward. Moral rubbish. This. It, it's not. It's not really. It's not really like the most awkward. Most awkward. But this thing really did happen, mm. and it's quite recent, so I remember it. Oh. So, before shame, shame. Steph takes it and use it, I shall use it first. What kind of rubbish? Ha ha ha. <laughs> Good idea, right? So, oh, hang on, okay, Steph but... also got, got some, got some uh, advantage. <laughs> okay, so, 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 so there was one day, there was one day, right, uh, we were at Botanic Gardens. Oh, I know where this is going. <laughs> and then, right, and then, right, so, because Steph and I are very close, we talk about all kinds of nonsense, you know. Like, really, I mean, we won't... 
I don't I don't usually talk about these sort of topics with anybody la, except maybe like Susan and Stephanie then we will talk about this kind of rubbish, you know? Yeah. Then one day I was asking her and then we were like walking around Botanic Gardens. Um and then I was asking her, so uh, if one day Alex is not around So I haven't finished my sentence, uh, at this point I just said so uh, one day if Alex is not around and then uh, our friend stood in the middle of the garden path and it's it's like a white boulevard. Uh it wasn't like a small pathway, it was like a kind of like a one of the main uh connecting pathways to to like the main entrances, like two main entrances being connected by one larger garden path kind of thing, you know. So there were quite a lot. I mean there were people going around like, it's, it's it's a very popular park. So Botanic Gardens is a very popular park. And there was a young couple that was near us. And then our friend, right, stood right in the middle of the garden path and shouted, I want to get remarried. I will remarry. If he dies, I will remarry. Then I thought, I thought like, <laughs> what in the world? You know, then at, at that point, I haven't finished my question yet, no. Mm. I just said, if Alex is not around, uh, nice. and then she had this major moment, don't know what possessed her, you know. <laughs> Stand in the middle of the garden and started yelling, I will remarry, I will remarry. And, and, and then, and then I, was like, shh. I was like, shh, shh, okay, okay, I haven't finished, I can And then she wouldn't come down, no? she kept on going on and on about how she will remarry you. Mm. And then I was like, okay, I, I, I will ask you tomorrow. <laughs> and, then she, and then she stopped. And then after that, she decided, yeah, what were you saying? <laughs> I, thought, I, said, I thought you were remarrying her. <laughs> No one to answer, really, right? So then I thought my question was: If one day Alex is not around anymore, would you would you want? And then if if my husband is also not around anymore, lah. So my question hasn't been asked until that point yet. If you know what I mean, so I I was going to ask her if let's say both our husbands are no longer around, would she want to live with me, ah? Like you know, like we we retire together, you know, we we share a house, ah. And then right, I was like, take so taken aback by the. I will marry. I, I was like, what the heck? Yeah, and then the, the poor couple that was next to us can see that they are very young. Definitely not married couple, okay? They're just uh, dating only. Uh. Their eyes open so big, you know. They also will marry. <laughs> oh my god. That, that, I'm grateful I for I'm not it. around. <laughs> yeah, that, that, after I think about it, uh, maybe they thought we are gay or something. Maybe. Yeah, because we were walking around holding hands, like she will hold my hand, <laughs> and then she'll start yelling at eh, that I I will remarry. <sighs> to oh to, to um clarify, I do love my I, I don't mind being gay. gay la. I don't mind being gay, but I don't want to be Stephanie's partner. You get what I mean? Right? Why? It's two different things. So be nice. gay is be gay. Be someone else's partner is better. Terrible. I will love you and buy you gifts and I promise not to throw you off a cliff. But then you want to remarry war. You want you la. No, 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 no. <laughs> I love when you can draw straight line. Very good. <laughs> we all done. Shh. Okay. <laughs> so embarrassing. I think uh, right now I'm thinking of something. If let's say uh-huh. before I partner you two, uh-huh. you already have this kind of life. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I will not song fun one. <laughs> <laughs> so it's good, huh? It's good that we keep all the stories until now. <laughs> you see, uh, Stephanie, mm-hmm. because of you, or because of me, or <laughs> no, because of just you, just kidding, uh. I keep, I keep thinking you, about or. the, I keep thinking about the, the comment on Zentangle Inks. Project back 18 day uh, introduction yeah, video. Yeah, stop shaming the person lah. Childish giggling. Then ours is what? <laughs> Minute <laughs> crazy. Wow, you, you, you don't know, man. Stephanie's voice is very loud on, you know. And then, uh, and then the park, right? Oh. The... What? Oh. I, I got something really <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> Ay, oh my god. There was a... There was a lizard at the Botanic Garden. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, I know already. I know already. It's a it was the same lizard. trip, man. I think it's the same trip, you know. Embarrassed that trip was Monday. very horrible. She did a few times that. <laughs> I I saw the one little lizard, so I smacked that bit in the arm, and I said, "Look, it's a Komodo dragon." 
seems such confidence and such sure conviction, it. conviction. Yes. And then the cleaner was like, "Huh? It's not a commodore sugar." <laughs> no, no, the cleaner was just laughing at you. I was telling, it's not a commodore. Wrong country. <laughs> wrong country. It's a monitor lizard. It's not a commodore. Calm down, Stephanie. <laughs> <sighs> Also, a uh, Komodo dragon also not so small. Uh. <laughs> I think maybe the baby is only that small. I think their their average size is like one point five meter or something. Like that. Well, what well, would I know? I never see a Komodo dragon before. Yeah, all right, where is it? You scream until so loud. So <laughs> pretty. <laughs> then the, the the cleaner uh, was laughing and laughing. You know, like 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 pretend not it's to laugh. Like it. So embarrassing. Crazy and. <sighs> Maybe, so, maybe if maybe if if Ildika catch the live show, then she don't want to stay with us. No, she's still with you, not with me, right? Yeah, but you are coming over. Then I don't come over, la. First night, I don't harass you. Then you are harassing us the next day. Same <laughs> thing, <la. laughs> You'll get one day of peace, one day of oh, normality. So, oh, Susan, rubbish. what's your most awkward moment? Being on live with us. <laughs> Associating with your two, yeah. I cannot think of any awkward. I think I did a lot when in school time, but I. <laughs> mm. Mm. I think it's the we laugh at public is something I find is very really awkward. Because in <laughs> secondary school, we have a lot of good friends that when we go out, then we just. Doesn't care about others, people, and we just laugh and talk very loud. Like mm, that. That's true. Oh. Is it? Is it the? Um, what is it called? Idiot quota. What is like, idiot quota? When like uh, you and a lot of friends get together, then the the entire group's IQ goes down collectively. Then you'll become No need ah. Just hang out You one person can already <laughs> <laughs> I bring so much joy to... <sighs> So funny Actually Actually we had a lot of We had a lot of These sort of moments In Botanic Gardens Yeah what's wrong ah? The, yeah, the, the what's energy wrong there <laughs> What ah? The energy there I don't know I can think we'll... of another two more you know Then should we not bring Eldika there Oh my gosh yeah, if I, if I, like, she didn't say that she wants to go. Uh. She, she hasn't okay. said where she wants to go yet. Maybe go gardens by the way. The juju in <laughs> Botanic Garden no good. What's the, the feng shui no good. The tiger embarrassed and myself. Gardens by the way, we didn't. Komodo Dragon. Gardens by the way is still okay. Right? Maybe I have acted like that. Of course, got no Komodo Dragon. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe. My oh, childlike like, excitement. Look at Komodo Dragon. <laughs> no, Komodo can, you imagine, can you imagine the, the comment, like, you know, the one that you were talking about? Come here and say, I will not oh. attend another of your live shows. <laughs> Maniac laughter is distracting. <sighs> Good for you. It's not yeah, actually, actually, I do, I do feel sad for some of, like, I sometimes feel sad for what our viewers have to put up with. Why? <laughs> not put up. Because it's, it's fun to listen. Put up with, ah. They no, have no, to put endure, eh. <laughs> no, ah. <laughs> endure. I'm quite sure they think it's entertaining. Endure. Poor thing. Give you a ghost star. Uh. What happened to Susan, yo? I think Isaac go... Ran away. Isaac trying to contribute to the conversation. So... Very funny. Is yeah, is what's time- with you and Poteen at Gardens? I don't know. What? What? Is it time for the last... last- Question? She haven't. She, oh, she answered. She said. She said. Uh, answered quickly. Yeah, she had to go. I think that's why. She still. Uh, what's question number five? Wait for her la. You talk about your towel lah. Oh wait, I hold on. I'm still. I'm trying to draw very fast because I still got one more towel. Eh. Yeah. Why? Why today you're so ambitious ah? No, because I want to work on this uh large piece. I don't okay. work on a large piece in a while. Okay, I'm done. Okay. I can share my tiles. Okay, here's my tile. My tile is a 795R apprentice size tile. 
And then I did Lola with Marasu. And then a gemstone in the middle. And then I did Tipo, black Tipo. And then there's another Lola hidden behind here. And then there's Tang H. Yeah, and then I uh, used watercolors for shading. Because this is watercolor paper, so I thought why not? And I added some gold accent on the Marasu. Yeah, simple but very fun, very pretty. I like how like the drip looks at the bottom. It looks like it was intentionally planned, but it was accidental. So that's quite fun. And then I'm also working on this regular size tile. So oh, is that Lola? Be... Oh, that's Lola. Is that inside. Inside, yeah. Oh. Lola inside, yeah. So I had already started on the gemstone with the muka bezel. And then I had added yoba to it. And then I used uh, Lola as a fragment inside of all of the negative spaces. So a uh, fun way to use Lola. You can use it in negative spaces. Very fun. Very cute. What about you, Debbie? So actually I had two tiles. Mm -hmm. um, I tinted one in the background with uh, Lindy's Gang. So this is summer break, uh, summer break colours. Um, and then I have another one. So this is Saunders Waterford, and then this one is Strathmore 500. Um, both are 100% cotton and hot press. So this, this smaller one is the Strathmore, and I kind of uh, didn't intend it this way, but it looks like a, a, a winged creature. Can you see? Like It's like a bird. Oh, nice. Or like yeah, flying I, fish. I didn't, uh, I didn't mean for it to look like anything actually, but it turned out to look like a, like it's in flight. Yeah. So I think this one turned out um, not like I planned, but it wasn't too bad. So I will continue work on this one. Yeah. Who is your swap partner for the gemstone swap? Oh, I went, before I assigned partners, I was like, please let it be someone I've not swapped before. Please let it be someone I've not swapped before. And it's showing that it was someone I've not swapped before. If I do that, right, it will be 100% someone I've swapped before. <laughs> <laughs> you think? Haha. <laughs> ha. Yeah. So you ended up being someone I've not swapped before. Who? Oh. She's a retiree. I don't know whether she wants her name to be. Safe. Oh, okay. Yeah. Never mind. Because she's not someone that we know. Oh, so. okay. But quite excited. Yeah, she has a filled up profile and she seems to be a regular swapper. So excited to send something to her. Yeah, and this will be the towel that I'll be sending to her. Oh, so you yeah, are multitasking. Ma yes. Multi toweling. Multi toweling, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can send you any cross post in the 7 f channel yeah, you would yeah. like join the trending tackles group <laughs> smart smart multi -tiling. hey Susan you're back would you like to share your tiles yeah. okay today I draw two tiles this is the first one hey, you, when you are back you are very quiet huh? is it on purpose one <laughs> no <because laughs> I don't want to interrupt <laughs> I don't want to interrupt the answer your questions. conversation. <laughs> so until you will kill me. Kill you. <laughs> anyway, kill, kill. Kill you. Push off a cliff. Kill. <laughs> no, I'm just going to kill you. Mm. But no. too bad the beneficiary is not you. <laughs> it's okay. We can help, uh, we can help Isaac. Uh, <laughs> interest, interest. Yo. Help Mr. Susan. <laughs> okay. So I have three Lola. In in the middle, then oh uh, yeah, I'm using the brown micron and the pink micron. Then I just uh use the two pencil, the ch pastel chalk, which is inside the project pack, the pink, uh, the red and the blue, to to shade my Lola, and the background is using the the Sakura watercolor. Mm. So I quite like. This. Actually, this one is very nice. Uh. Upside down. So nice. Mm -hmm. Then the second one. Yeah. yeah. Happy. Uh. Oh, okay. okay uh. Satisfied with what I draw. Yes. Mm. Good, good. Yeah. 
Okay, then this is the, the second house. The, I haven't finished it. But just now when I turn around to, to draw the printums, then I saw this one is kind of like a fish. It's kind of like a, the abstract fish, but uh, so... Oh, from the top view, from the top view. Yeah, from the top view, yeah. Okay, so quite interesting. I didn't intend to do so because the Lola actually is... This is the way. But when you... And suddenly I thought that the Laura you can draw as a peacock. The feather of a peacock also. No? Okay, multi animal tangle. Yeah. <laughs> mm. okay. Komodo dragon. Mm, Komodo dragon. <laughs> can can draw as Komodo <laughs> dragon or not? <sighs> how ah? Uh? I don't know how to draw. <laughs> I don't even know how to identify a Komodo dragon. Let's start from wrong there. Country. <laughs> Asking wrong, wrong person. Country. Oh yeah. Maybe you should <laughs> consult the, the park keeper. Yeah. The guy was like completely what like is this wow, woman? his day, you know. Like we wow, like the best moment of his day. I was so I was so embarrassed. Wait till, my wait till I tell my friends about this this idiot. This Angmo <laughs> Don't know from where. I mean alien I say Try to Is there anyone it? taking their phone to film <laughs> film your conversation? <laughs> then you become famous in Singapore. I don't mind. <sighs> <sighs> For all the she, wrong reasons. I don't mind. Then okay. somehow she, she's claiming to love Singapore the most, you know. I love Singapore. I just there, there's confused. See? I'm confused. You know where it's Komodo Island? Uh? Don't know. Yeah, see, go go read up. Okay. Got Komodo it's not on botanical you. garden. Oh. Got Komodo on the island? Uh? The island is called Komodo Island. Then got Komodo on it? You you go and Google, okay? okay. Millennial go Google. Okay. Yes, very good. I wish you all the best in your Googling. Googling. <laughs> okay, yeah, what's the last question? <laughs> okay, the the last question is kind of like easy la, okay. You either have one or you don't have one. Right? But I think most of us, right, we would have uh, an idea of the type la, if it's not the name of it, but you can you can also suggest a type. Or a kind of car or something. So the, the question is, what is your dream car, even if you don't drive? Hello? <laughs> Suddenly so quiet. You're chewing. <laughs> you're chewing. I thought Alex said your chewing is very noisy. Yeah, that's why I mute myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if your chewing is very noisy, I should be able to hear you. Uh. I mute myself, ma. Can hear. What? What? That's how kind of noisy. Like... Yo. <laughs> to that level, okay. You don't way get it. Uh-huh. You didn't get it, is it? Okay. You can go and tell Alex. Okay. Debbie laughed at me, you know, today. <laughs> and it's your fault. <laughs> oh, liar. Because he started it, what? He started this joke, right? What this is origin. Wait, wait. This one originated with him, right? I didn't yeah, know yeah, the right? yeah, yeah, the right. chewing very loud. It bothers me. <laughs> you <laughs> think very loud. Yeah, you think very loud. You chew too loud. So. <laughs> what kind of car? I don't know cars, man. I only know like car brands. You can I say guess. the type or the, the, the... You can say the brand also lah, if you want. But some people, they like a certain make or a certain type. Like they like uh, SUV or my, they my like... My mother... My mother says she, my mother when when I was growing my mother says I'm not asking buy. about your mother eh. asking no, you I just, eh. I just saying I just saying it's a funny story she want a jeep then I say you're so small then you get such a big car then you need a little stepping stool to step into the car then she said yes can I don't mind I'm like okay can overcompensating this yeah one. man <laughs> <laughs> you see you over the steering wheel <laughs> let's say uh, later she listen to your live show then it's okay she you. already know she already know know what Know that I disturb her ah, about this. Oh. She's so small and she wants such a big car. Huh? But it's also with the same thing with her bag. She's so small that she always gets such big bags. Then I say, what you carry inside your bag? She said, my size hand. My, my life savings. <laughs> okay, can <laughs> What kind of car? Like a yeah, car. There, there are some people who like, you know, like the... Specific. What's that? Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, the... Tesla. Mini... Mini Cooper. Cooper. Uh, yeah, yeah. So there are some yeah, people who like, yeah. But I, f- I find them uh, a bit like not very value for money, Mini Cooper. Firstly, it's so small. 
Secondly, it's so expensive. Cute, ma. Cute, ma. Yeah, then there are other cute cars that don't cost it's, that much. It's, it's um, iconic. So people see, wow, you're driving a Mini Cooper. Then they like that. Yeah, but the price of that can get you a much bigger car. Maybe they don't want it. My, like my mother-in-law bought like, a very small car because she don't want it. A big one. Then she said parking is easier because like your car is small. Yeah, but my point is that even if you wanted a small car, for just buy a small, small other car, brand you can car. buy a cheaper. Yeah. And, I mean, people who buy really the Mini Cooper is buying like because the they brand. like the brand. Yeah. yeah, it's like, why buy a Prada bag? You can buy any Yeah, bag. so my just... point is that there are people who are like that. Nah. Why? Uh, last night, not last night, even now, so this third, Charlotte will say, like, oh, I want this. Then I say, no, you cannot have this because of this, this, this reason. Then she say, but I want it. Then I'll tell her, I, I, but I want a, a Ferrari car and we all can't have what we want, okay? <laughs> then she just quietly sit there, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. But oh, I don't know that, I've never wanted... How in her like, four-year-old mind does she understand what a Ferrari car is? It's okay, as long as it, like, we get to end the conversation. <laughs> What the heck? Mm. Can you imagine the issues she go out with me? <laughs> My mother wants a Ferrari. Do you know how much a Ferrari is? Maybe I can buy do you, it. Do you know that when I was a four-year-old, she would say this sort of thing to me? <laughs> and then I grew up not liking Ferraris. Oh, it, this, this triggered... <laughs> This trigger like a funny, funny story in my head. I remember one time this kid, then we were discussing like, oh, if uh, they could buy something for their parents, I think it was like going to be mother's father's day. So I think oh, if they could buy something for their parents, what would they buy? Then the kids like brought out like different, different things. And one kid was like, if I have all of the money, like money wasn't an issue, right? Then I would buy my mom a, a, a house. Then I said, oh, that's a nice like gift idea. Lah. How much do you think a house costs? And he said, like, maybe... A hundred dollars? Because of a small child, don't know how to conceptualize like large numbers, right? It's like hundred dollars and his friends laugh at him. Like I was very sweet. Can what? Can buy doorhouse. Dollhouse, ah yes, can. With very furnishing. I think not even enough details. to buy dollhouse. Eh, Poor thing. <laughs> Poor thing. Can buy those oh, like mini one room, the... Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Forget. The, the one room kind, yeah. Can. Okay. Mm. Yeah, don't take us seriously. We're just joking. <laughs> Please don't write into us. <laughs> Especially the part about Stephanie pushing her husband off the cliff. Yeah, Thank it's you. just a joke. It's just a yeah. joke. It's good, good fun. He also knows it's not real. <sighs> Even the cab driver also knows about it. What thing? He probably was very concerned. Probably was thinking like, maybe yeah, I after this. Me, eh. I hope he didn't mistake it as me saying it, you know. Accomplice. That'd be terrible. No, I, I stand to gain nothing there. Eh. Just split the amount with you. No, I don't want. I don't want to take this out of dirty money. So, Susan, what's your what's your dream car? I don't have a specific brand of the cars, but I want those. Uh, is it called an autopilot car? The self drive. Do not. Do, I don't need to drive. I just sit there. Uh. That one is too expensive. You just stay. <laughs> <laughs> if if the safety That's why it's a uh, car. is not it's is not an issue, it's a very safe car, then I would like that you can self drive then so I can just sit there and do my things, read my book, then no need to, to, to drive my own. Yeah. So this is my dream car. If this kind of self driving cars get into an accident, how how do they like operate like they will auto call emergency I think but how do they drive like how do they know how to ride themselves like you get T-bone yeah, I think for it. this kind of uh, this kind of uh, auto pilot cars right if they want to buy the insurance probably they will be different the, tier the premium will be, will be yeah. more expensive so is it because the, the oh. it's not matured this technology maybe is not that matured yeah. as the self drive so for insurance company, probably they will just uh, the premium will be higher lah. Until maybe one day, the the safety issues it can be proved that they are safe. Then maybe they will same as others car. Yeah, but no matter how safe ah, if Stephanie is behind the wheel ah, it's still dangerous. See, I'm doing all your service. I need to get my driver's license. <laughs> Can you imagine if you forgot to turn off certain things and then you or or you turn press the wrong gear or something? 
I don't know. I don't know how driving. <laughs> but but if that's the case, then self driving ah uh, will be safer for her. She's no, she's not the one. No, but that's that's uh. what I'm thinking. You know, like for example, um, what they did what, research. What are you thinking? Hold on, I'm getting there. <laughs> no, okay. Yeah. Research about like driving on in uh, on icy roads, right? And then a lot of drivers, right? When your car starts skidding, right? Actually, you're supposed to tap on your brakes in order to ride the car, like make it. Uh, stop properly but a lot of people's instinctual reaction is to slam down on the brakes in an effort to like prevent their car from skidding off the road but in doing so you actually cause your car to skid more and then that's how you get into a major accident so like in my head I'm thinking actually a, a self-driving car would actually be technically more safe if you program it properly because it would not have human error and human instinct to like do wrong things yeah you but know. you have machine error and then machine bugs like software bugs. I mean, you look at Instagram already. They cannot, they all, cannot get it right already. Then <laughs> they go and make a car. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get Instagram. They have to go and program. No, but well, my point, my point is that, and, and Susan's point is that the technology, the whole industry it's is not there lab. yet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So my point is, if it's like Instagram, you, you cock out also, nobody dies lah, you know, in that sense. But then, if you are sitting in the vehicle and it and it's something like totals itself, I mean, then, I read like this um, essay, well, this, was, this was a while back, so I don't know when it's like, still relevant. They were saying like, if let's say all the cars are self-driving cars, then let's say like an accident happens, right? There would be a system in place where if you pay, let's say, higher insurance or you pay more for this car, then the cars would talk to each other and program it so that the person who's paying the highest premium would be the safest person. So the other cars would, you know, then that's not fair, what? Yeah, then, exactly. So then there's, there comes yeah. the ethical dilemma of, you know, how is it fair that if someone is paying more, then they get the higher likelihood of so, surviving So if I don't off. pay enough, I don't get to leave, eh? Yeah, correct. Or you get, like, hurt more, lah. Because you're put, put in a disadvantageous position when, like, three cars, let's say, get into a car accident. Then the cars will communicate with each other in, like, milliseconds and then decide that, okay, this car th- that pays the lowest premium will be the one that takes the brunt. Susan, do you impact. still want, after having these conversations, you know, do you still <laughs> want a self-driving car? Because I think this is going in a very bad direction. It's speculation, lah. They never say, like, oh, this is what will happen or this is, like, how the car will be programmed. And right so, now, so, like, so you're, you are not going to push Susan off the cliff. You're just going to put her in a self-driving car. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, she's she very much. She bought me a car. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cannot accept gifts of car. Yeah. Very scary. <laughs> now, now all of us very scared to receive things from you. Mm, got, got hidden motive one. Yeah, poison right <laughs> now. And terrible yeah, car man. that will drive you off cliff. Off road. I I know that um at my the void neck the 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 basically the ground floor of my house. They have this like charging station for those like electric cars. You know, but it's a rental company. Car sharing. Yeah, and I was car like, sharing. And I was like, oh, that's that's so cute. Like, there's like, one more. Uh, there's one more car sharing cars. company that actually has a headquarters in the same building as our studio. Oh, cool. Yeah. Ah, yes, yes. What is it called? I can't remember. Let me use I I like um. So actually, right, I like family cars. The you know those uh like space wagon. You can see a lot of people, you SUVs, space wagons. Mm. Yeah, mm. but then I realized that. But I then I realized that the fuel consumption is mm. very high. Not fuel efficient. Then how? And and I think I think that generally, right, I'm a person who doesn't really have any interest in driving. So, if I do buy a car, right, I would want my other half to be driving, not me. It's not, it's not because I am lazy or whatever. It's just that I have no interest, you know. So, some people, driving, right, like my, Driving with you or driving, like, for you, like, you are sitting in the passenger seat? Then the person will be driving, la, then oh. I will be riding. La. So, what kind of Daniel one? Do you know? No, I still, I still have a... Um, I still have the idea of what cars I like though. Yo. But I won't be the one driving. <laughs> but you're not I buy for you, you drive. <laughs> yeah. So so you, you know why not? Because it, okay, because I say this because right, there are people who actually love to drive. There are people yeah, who really you. love to drive. Yeah, my, uh, my, yeah. my my dad loves to drive. 
So my dad, right, uh, last time when I was young, right, he would drive us all the way. Uh, actually, we've driven up to the Thai border before, you know? So to, to Malaysia, all the way up wow. um, to Penang and then uh, the Thai border. And then because in Thailand, it's not, not very safe to drive at that time. So we, we crossed the border in a hired vehicle rather than, as in we pulled together. So there were a few families. And instead of driving in, we shared, uh, I think we shared a bus or something. So we hired and then we went all together in the bus. So we were like three or four cars, lah, basically. So we left the cars uh, in mainland uh, Malaysia and then we switched modes to go up into Thailand. So any, anyway, that, that's an example of my dad loving to drive. But there are some people, right, who cannot concentrate for such long distances because when you drive long, long distances, your brain goes into autopilot, right? And then that is when it's very dangerous for drivers. I think Susan will have heard about this. Lah, because in, in Malaysia, there are a lot of accidents that happen like that. Right, Susan? Yeah. 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 So 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 um I I have this fear that my brain will just go into autopilot. No? Cause and, and then also because I am not um sometimes when I'm in the car, right, I like to enjoy the scenery a lot. So I like to watch the 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 landmarks, I like to watch other cars, I like to watch the sky, you know. I cannot focus on the road. Does that make sense? And I, and I found out about this uh, in a roundabout way lah, when I was in Australia studying. Yeah, that, that I don't think I'm cut out to drive. Because in Australia, right, the nighttime uh, road is very, very dark. One. It's even darker than the Malaysian road. No? So in Malaysia, right, some rural areas, right, the roads are very dark at night. And I think Susan knows what I mean. Uh. Some roads got no lighting at all, eh? especially if you go through like the, the B roads or the country roads. So when I was in Australia, there was one time, um, I think it was only about 8 o'clock at night. Eh? But in the car, right, you can't see anything. Eh? And my night vision is so bad that I cannot uh, differentiate the distance. I cannot calculate the distance. So normally, right, when, when it's daytime and whatever, I can, I can gauge uh, quite well. But because my night vision is so bad, right, I cannot really, uh, I cannot tell, you know, like, whether this is near or far, like, how near and how far. And, and to drive like that, uh, is very dangerous. So, because of that, right, I decided long ago that I don't think I should be driving. Because once you learn how to drive, and once you have your own car, right, and it's at night, right, you'll be very tempted to send your friends home, you know, like, like after the event, uh, or after, like, a get-together with your friends, right, I would I would find it very difficult to turn down people if they ask, hey, give me a ride home, you know? I, I don't know how to say no, you know. That's how you yeah, get I'm that kind of person. Right? Yeah. And that would be very dangerous for me because I cannot see. I cannot see, mm. but I'm driving my friends and I will get into an accident that I don't want, you see. So mm. Maybe that's you one... can be honest with yourself. Some people are Correct. Like... So so some people, right? Actually a lot of people ask me, how can you never go and take your license when oh. you are living in Australia? Because Australia is very easy to pass. Oh. Uh, Australian uh, license is easy, easier than Singapore to get, you know. So a lot of people have asked me, like, why didn't you do that? Then, you know, you save money, you save time, you save whatever, you know, easier to pass and whatever. And then I said, the problem is not that, no. The problem is I don't have the confidence to drive in the dark. And it's not a confidence issue per se, but it's also an eyesight issue. Yeah, but I, I don't tell everybody this, lah, because I find that oh, it's not your problem. Lah. <laughs> I don't drive, lah, you know, but... <laughs> But I tell people that I care about right? it's because your you matter to me and I don't want to take the risk, you know? And why? so I would prefer to be driven. Uh. Why why you don't want to take your driver's license? Why you wanna buy me a car, is it? <laughs> no, you you want to you want to send us to the afterlife. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, <wait. laughs> oh, well, I, I, I remember read this story about this um she's this this staff at uh, an optometrist. And then she said the most concerning thing for her is that she'll have people come in and then they can't even like read like the paperwork on the, her table. So she had to print it in like bigger form because they cannot see what's on the form, on the take-in form. And then she's like, okay, so you're, you're going for this checkup thing. Then we're going to dilate your pupil. So later on, right, you might have like some trouble getting home. How do you get here? I drove myself here. And then she gets so concerned. Like, All these people on the road they don't care. Road. A lot of people don't care. Yeah, okay. yeah, a lot of people don't care. They don't take it seriously, you know. And and this is something that concerns me because you see, uh, your aircraft, right? 
your aircraft can be millions of dollars and people take mm. so much, so many people on board, right? Mm-mm. You take so much into the pilot's health, the pilot's eyesight, you know, the pilot's well-being, right? But then on the road, you, you can be driving a bus. You can be driving into a bus. Yeah. Maybe you're not driving the bus. <laughs> but- Fair enough. But you can drive into the bus. You get what I mean, not? But yeah. then they don't take their own, you know, like they don't see it as so what? So what? No, you know, it's not social yeah. responsible. Yeah, so, so this is something that I, I told myself that I won't do, you know. Mm. Yeah, probably, probably not in this lifetime. And, and, and I, do, I do enjoy looking at cars or that. I do look, I, mean, I enjoy la, like looking at people's cars. I, I enjoy my family's uh, cars and stuff like that. But I personally, I don't feel the urge. Uh, to ever get behind the wheel, la. I I like the I like the idea of um, family vehicles because then the whole family can sit together. Mm. But I also know that it's very uh not not um resource friendly la. Yeah. Mm. Firstly, expensive to buy, right? Secondly, expensive yeah. to maintain. So, therefore, not very feasible for our kind of uh Asian lifestyle. You know, in mm-hmm. a sense, yeah. Mm. And technically also, you don't really need such a vehicle because the roads in Singapore are actually very good compared to some other yeah. countries. You don't like need a SUV. Or, I mean, sorry. You don't need a four-wheel drive is what I mean. Mm. Yeah. But I do know of people who buy uh, four-wheel drives and everything because they think that they, it's like a status. La, like ah. expensive, ma, expensive car, oh. you know? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, Alex, my husband, said that he he shouldn't get behind a wheel because um, he said that he uh, has the propensity to have road rage and then he de- doesn't think that, that that would be good for other people and himself either. So he, I think I think he's, he's like you. Yes, that's uh, the most aware I've heard him be. <laughs> like, most self-aware I've heard him he be. Said, he said when like, his well done, mom, Alex. Yeah, yeah, when his mom drives him, like, for example, to school, which is very far from our home. So sometimes she'll like, be very nice and offer to drive him to school when he needs to be at the, physically at the campus. Because now most, most uh, classes are online, right? But when he does need to go, then she'll drive him sometimes when she's free. And then he says, like, yeah, I get so angry sometimes with the way people drive. Uh. Then I'm thinking, this is just me being the passenger seat. If I'm the driver, uh, I probably have road rage. So I, I don't think I should drive. I say, okay. Then he's like, you should get a driver's license. I'm like, for what? Then he's like, I pay for you. And then you drive, drive down. Like, I'm Yo, the chauffeur. I, 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 I really think the boy you shouldn't drive. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I love your both <laughs> and I think very highly of your both but I please uh, don't... Susan, yeah. Susan, I need a self-driving car so I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> where is this place? Where am I going? I don't know. Drive myself into Malaysia. Hi ma'am, where's your passport? What? <laughs> huh, this <is> Malaysia? Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you cannot detain. You cannot detain. What do you mean you don't know? Where I don't know. I took a wrong left turn and then I don't know how I end up here. <laughs> <sighs> so, <laughs> shall we wrap up for today? <laughs> today feels like five hours. Eh? Why? Uh? Yeah, man. I also haven't had a headache. Why? Uh? <laughs> awful, awful, awful. <laughs> well, the task came out today. Of today's session was quite, quite nice. No, my, 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 my second, uh, or, is this my first or my second towel? I also don't know. Don't know. But well, this towel is not very, um, well, I don't know what to do with it next. I'm still thinking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I definitely didn't expect it to turn out this way also. But, well, it did. I'll think of something. Mm. So it's what? Gold, uh, gold shadow? Silver. Silver both shadow. Are, yeah, both are silver shadow. Okay. I'm trying to use them all up, you know? Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, so that they don't dry up on me. Do you prefer the gold shadow or the silver shadow? Mm, I think it depends on the colours. Uh. Mm. Yeah. Susan, any updates from your house? Susan? <laughs> Susan? <laughs> Susan, you're muted? Susan, you're muted, I think. Oh, oh okay. Like lost for me on her. Yeah, I just added some watercolor. Yeah, to to make it make the tone difference, the purple, then a little bit of blue. But I think on the screen, 
it doesn't turn out well. Sure. Yeah, so purple and blue to... are difficult to turn out on the screen. Mm. So maybe later I'll sh- share the photo in my Instagram. So you, you oh, self-driving car, you sure or not? Huh? When it is <laughs> the technology is matured enough. Mm. May not be, you know, like for a good long time, you know. Mm. Need more people to adopt it. Yeah. Then then he haven't finished his technology, he wants to fly to, to space walk. Mm, very good. Easier to fly to space than it is to drive cars. No competition, ma. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, so these are my tiles. I have no updates for you guys. So to recap, today's string was... How can I that? <coughs> can I that? Today's string was a water drop with a collar. And then we used the tangle Lola by me, Stephanie Jennifer CCT. If you posted, if you posted, if you tangle along with us, please post your tiles <laughs> in our Facebook group, 7F5 Art Challenge. Uh, you can search 7F5 Art Challenge ah, directly yeah. into your Facebook search box. It's been a long day. It's been a long it day. Has. Forgive us. Yeah. Yeah, you can go to bit.ly slash fb7f5. Our recording of today's session will be made available on 7F5 Art Studios Instagram at 7 Forest 5 Rivers and also on our YouTube channel youtube.com slash c slash 7 and 5 R studio tag us on Instagram if you post a, if you post a tile related to today's string or today's tangle Debbie is at tangle.pursuit Susan is at susanyo.czt and I'm at halfpen will draw halfpen underscore will draw pardon me oh gosh and then we'll be using the hashtag uh, seven is there someone with the without the dash though I don't know let's, let's not let's not direct them there direct them to me <laughs> yeah so uh, thank you so much for hanging out with us today we had lots of fun lots of laughter lots of childish giggling mm. <laughs> the, yo <laughs> the, our, our next uh, Instagram live will happen on the 24th of August next week Wednesday 2.45pm Singapore time hope to see you then yeah, thank you so much for being with us bye thanks bye, bye.